Welcome back, everybody. Some parents in Lahaina who lost homes and businesses have a monumental task ahead of them, all while trying to help their kids comprehend the gravity of what happened. A pop-up camp is helping families get a break from the pain that they're facing, even if it's just for a few hours. Ian Schwartz has more. Laughter is not something you'll hear a lot of after a tragedy like the Lahaina fire. And oh. <laughs> But it filled the halls of the Maui YMCA this week as kids were able to be kids. And then you'll pull it behind you. Project Camp lets kids laugh, play, eat, and gives parents a much needed break. You go to one side and I go to the other. Raven Hart is a local volunteer here. She says some kids have tough stories of survival, leaving as the fire sprinted toward their homes. And I think that that's the best way to get through trauma is have positive experiences. Ooh, we did good! Camp comes at no cost and is even open to parents who are first responders on the ground near the fire. We had the barbecue lunch, of course, that was really good. <laughs> Isabel Griffiths and her little sister Eloise left with her parents before the fire stole their home. It's nice to have a break and forget and have fun and play around and, you know, not have to think about it very much. Her mom, Abby, and dad, Michael's scuba diving business is gone. And they say they're left with piles of maddening government red tape as they try to collect their lives. Part of me feels like it was a million years ago and part of me feels like it was last night. They've done their best to try to hide the horrors of what happened from their girls, but it doesn't always work. And not be around the energy that I'm sure as much as we try to, you know, contain it, it's I'm sure that they still feel that. She says Project Camp gets the kids away from all of that. And we can pop up a day camp uh, anywhere in the United States in about 48 hours. Ozzy Barron says they focus on the good here. Some are thankful that their pets are okay. Some are thankful that they're still together with their friends. And that drumbeat of optimism, that drumbeat of things that we still have is deeply helpful for these kids. Abby says camps like this balance the hell they are living with the unending local support they've witnessed and received after the fire. And some of the best of humanity and, um, you know, neighbor and community and service and love and support that. Ian Schwartz reporting. Amazing.